Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about follow up. Yeah, follow up. That's the activity that you have to do at the end of every week, at the end of every month, and at the end of every annual fiscal period. So we're looking at describing each of these follow up activities to you today. And we're going to share some tips and how to do that in our upcoming video. Now, there are literally three types of follow-up. The weekly, the weekly takes about 20 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. The monthly, well, you're looking at maybe 30 minutes, up to 45, probably closer to 30 minutes. Yearly, hmm, you might be looking at a couple of days, but it's always worth doing the follow-up. The reason why is because you come across as someone who's organized, someone who doesn't make anyone work for anything that you're really easy to work with and that they can count on you. You're someone they can rely on. And that is definitely the image that you want to have for your business. Now, let's look at weekly. Weekly, that uh, what, 15 minute chore? It's usually done on Fridays or Mondays. So you're looking at your schedule, your day timer, and your activities that you've done that week. And you're seeing how was it? What were the obstacles? What were the challenges? What, what are the unfinished projects? Who do I still need to connect with? And then you're gonna figure out a way of working that into your upcoming schedule the following week, right? Very simple. Now, monthly is actually very similar to weekly, of course, except it's monthly. And you're looking at a lot wider of array of data. You're looking at your staff meetings, your, your conversations, your emails, your queries, your interactions with media, you're looking at everything to do with your business that has happened that month, including education time, research time, all of that for upcoming projects, right? You got to learn about them. You got to research them, all that fun stuff. So I uh, develop new skills and things like that. So where are you on that? You know, where are you with your activities and your projects that you were working on last month? And how are you going to you know, pursue them further in the month to come. So you might have to do some follow-up conversations with clients or, or connections or media. Maybe you promised to send something by the end of the month and now's the time to deliver on that. These are the kinds of things that you want to make sure that you've, you've quickly glanced over. Make sure you don't owe anybody anything. You're not responsible for sending anything anywhere. You know, you've followed up on all your communications. All your projects are all scheduled in for the next month. And you've made a plan, an action plan on how to pursue them based on what you learned in that month's worth of activity. Uh, you know, so you can pursue your future more efficiently and more effectively. Now, annual, your year, yearly or year end or annual follow-up activity goes by a few different names. Um, let's call it the annual follow-up for ease. Now this one, you're gonna need a little more time. For me, I had over 700, I think it was 769 or 770, someone like that, uh, contacts that I had to follow up on because that's how many people I communicated with and interact with during last year. I keep a brief record spreadsheet, really simple. It's not that heavy to do. Five columns, your date, the name of the person, their contact information, and what you spoke about. Real brief. On December 18th, we had a meeting, you know, about networking. And then you move on to the, you know, so you have all these little bullet notes. And so at the end of the year, I'm going to go through my spreadsheet and I'm gonna look at all of those activities and interactions. And I'm also looking at my annual business activities and interactions, my own interaction uh, goal, action plans, my own personal goals is all involved in the yearly activity, uh, year end activity. And so we're gonna do a video specifically on the year end because it is a little more involved, but basically you wanna schedule about two hours a day for several days in a row. For me, it ended up being 17 days this year, which is unusual. Usually I only have to put aside a week, maybe 10 days. 17 was a bit much this year, two hours a day. And that, like I say, that includes, you know, responding to the conversations that come about from doing that follow-up activity. So there you go, quick little overview as to what follow-ups are, what's involved in them, a quick tip about keeping a record of your actions and why that's so important for these follow-up activities. 
And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to do another video about yearly follow-up. It'll be a little more involved, a little bit longer of a video. I hope you join us for that.